Good morning, morning, everyone. So we left off in that beautiful room. We have ripped down most of the ceiling, the first layer of the ceiling um, on another video. We need to rip off the second layer of the ceiling with isolation. That was the old isolation on top. And we need to rip down all the walls. Not the walls. I mean, yeah, the first layer of the wall, that's fine. Whatever rips off, whatever comes off. This one we already cleaned. We're gonna leave it as this because it looks awesome. Oh uh, yeah. Well, it's gonna be another what I don't know what we're gonna do. So rip, 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 rip everything down. Let's start. To the barrel and put them somewhere. I don't know where because I don't want to put this on the roads. It's too, it gets like clay. Well, it is clay, so it gets too soft and muddy. Where's the old shit? Ugh. Smells like shit. That's a lot of dirt I dropped down. One wrong move and I'll be on the ground. So after many hours, all cleaned up, it's quite dark. Yeah. It took us quite a while. Four hours maybe? Yeah. To destroy and to clean. It's hard to see, but it's all cleaned up. Well, I am taking out these beams that were holding up the ceiling uh, before the insulating ceiling, and then the other one was screwed onto this. But the other one was attached here. It was like these here beams, I need to take them off. Because they are completely off level, wiggle waggle, they were not straight. And put a straight beam. Probably need to buy a new one because we do not have such beams, I don't think. And that many because we need quite a lot. Well, so just four or three, we need only one, two, three. Times two. Why? Both sides. Up and down? No, this side, this side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I got it. Did it. So that's how it looks before. And I uh, cannot show you after because I haven't done it yet, but I'll show you definitely when I do it. At the moment we don't have the wood, but we will have it. I'm removing these ones. The wood is a little bit, just a little bit rotten. But these are really big beams and inside the core is all strong. And this is way overkill for uh, holding up. It's just that they had this much clay sitting on top of the roof. Clay. Pure clay, so it was like probably like what one ton, two tons per ceiling of clay. Insane heaviness, so they needed to build it overkill. But now it's just a beauty for us. We're gonna put it halfway, so half of it's sticking down and it's gonna extend the ceiling a bit. This room has quite high ceiling, but I want it a bit higher. So it's gonna look amazing with the long window and beautiful, nice wooden ceiling. Today we're gonna do the ceiling. We have done the window. And we haven't done the walls yet, but we're gonna start doing the ceiling because it's gonna take a while before we can do it. So, as you might have seen in previous videos, we took it all down and we're gonna use the same woods that were here before. They're all back there piled up. And there. So what I have been doing past a few weeks, like once at a time or like slowly, I've been cleaning up the woods from the tiny woods that were on it. 
cold because we don't want them of course and David is gonna go now downstairs and start cleaning up with that uh, brush tool the peeler uh, the woods that already have done the pile there so we're gonna start bringing them down for him so he can do something as well while I'm cleaning uh, the wood because I have also nails and woodies the wood is we use for uh, fire and the nails I haven't found any purpose for them if you know what we can do with old nails like something creative or cool you can comment it but that's what we will do now carry the woods down and start building that ceiling and we need to clean it up as well so I um, don't need to be scared anymore on here walking so I can work like actually you okay It's okay, take my hand. Okay! That was scary. Okay, let's do this. Let's bring the wood down. Hello from downstairs. Uh, so, the plan now is to put some uh, stickies here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm cleaning up the woods. Not these ones particularly, but I'm doing, uh, first of all, these ones. Yeah, it's there, down there. This and wood. I need to attach this wood here. Uh, to hold the ceiling up uh, to be something to screw into because we don't have like corners to screw into like metal ones like you use in modern style houses but I'll just use a traditional way with wood much nicer as well good uh oh uh oh broken so we have this wood here this is already existing I don't want to remove it so we're gonna put it on top of that one but here I don't want to put it on top because this will stick out then it will be below I want to put it on top so we screw in from the bottom so it's not visible the ceiling looks like it goes flush into this one but yeah that's pretty much all I want to say So these are the old woods. I'm taking all the nails out, cleaning them up, cutting the edges off and putting them onto the beams. So the old, uh, the new roof, well, it's still the old roof uh, ceiling, can go back up on. So, let me show you how I do it. First of all, I'm gonna take out these nails. They're quite, quite long. Put the hammer underneath. They are square nails. I think they work much, much better than uh, new nails, circle nails. They are so strong. Well, no one really uses nails anymore. Everyone switches to. Um, this might be a problem. This not coming off. Yeah. Oh, got it. First thing I do is I put all the screws in already. These screws are actually just for um, getting it on. They don't do much of holding. These beams are really old and uh, the exterior skin of the beam is really fragile. And these screws are just not long enough. So these are just to get it in place so I can put the big screws in, which I'll show you after. Those screws actually do the holding. Want to make sure that the ceiling is in level. That's as much as it goes. That's how far we drill the hole. The rest we need to do by hand. <laughs> 